In the bottom left, playing Dark Mercia, we have Emo versus Sykoya up in the top right playing Emmerich. So Emo, definitely a huge Dark Mercia fan. And has actually progressed a lot as a player over the past like, year or so now. Definitely been entering the past couple Groove of War events and really, you know, kind of embraced like being like good at the game competitively. Definitely known more for working on the Groove of War wiki, like contributing to the community as far as like helping in those kinds of regards, like being helpful to like newer players, being active in like streams for people who are trying out the game. But now, a very respectable competitive player in their own right. And on the other hand, we have Sykoya, who's been active in the community for quite a while now. Did really well last Group of War, had a very close game against Veronix, so... A very close set, I should say, against Veronix. Almost made it to the top four of that event. What are we seeing here in this game? Okay, so these knights are doing a lot of work. Thieves are coming out, getting these steals. And they're both kind of like... So Emo's kind of like posturing to threaten the stronghold, but there isn't enough here to really do damage. It's more of a like forcing Sykoria to respect the fact that damage could happen. Interesting, he doesn't have a knight on this side. Normally you see knights come along and they do a whole bunch of damage to these villages. Emo elects not to go for the knight, goes for the archer play. That's, there's an archer balloon in the center, so Sykoria is going to do a whole bunch of damage with these knights. Get a whole bunch of village captures and have control of the sides. Whereas Emo's electing to control center, has this archer for a nice defensive formation. But Sykoya has a dragon now, and dragons are very difficult to deal with on this map. 1337 gold, nice. Because these road tiles make it very difficult to stay central in the map when there's a dragon, because they will absolutely destroy anything. So Emo now has to push to one side or the other, and likes to go right away from the dragon. Good call. Ooh, gets a kill on the mage. Takes a bit of damage on a dog for it. Nicely done by Sequoia. And I think Sequoia has built a nice lead here. Has a lot of these side villages. Sure, Emo has both the center ones, but that is not enough economy to justify being in the center of this long. So, what's Emo going to do? They're going to continue just to push back on the sides actually just send their commander across try and I guess like sweep down take these villages you're fighting up against your opponent's production that's not really where you want to be Sequoia realizing that they have their forced emo at the center is just going to go for these center village captures themselves Even builds a ballista just to like I mean, swag on their opponents it comes to mind. But it's honestly like a really solid play. Like it's a really strong defensive unit. Very difficult to attack into. I love the use of the archer on to knock down this village a bit. What archers are very good at, they can do indirect damage. Even though it's a little bit of chip damage, it's still very effective. And ooh, Sakura is finding more stuff to pick off here. Really unfortunate death. If there had been a mage, I think that would have actually been a lot safer in terms of emo. But Sakura sees the opportunity and does a bunch of damage for free. And emo has a blister now, and Sakura has to respect that as well. So they're both getting it ready to dig in for a longer game. Ooh. We're seeing a nice crit come out. I do think this harpy is potentially going to go down, but Emo is slowly retaking villages and making this a split map situation. 
And it could very well come down to who is going to be able to get things into the center. Oh, but the blister goes down and the dragon is in a relatively safe position. I don't think this knight can be killed. So really well played by Sykoria there. And now Sykoria can just continue to go to turn. Actually, is that... Only just now, on turn 10, does Sykoria get groove on their commander. It's a very passive commander play from Sykoria. But it's working out because, like, positionally, they're so far ahead. Yeah, like this dragon able to kill that ballista with the help of the knight, and the knight lived as well. And that's huge too. Oh, I do not like that positioning from Dark Mercia. Yeah. Realizes that they just left their commander on a road near dragon. And are far behind in this game. Economy wise, just like way too behind. And says, you know what? Well played, Sakoya. You have bested me this time. And that was just very solid play from Sakoya. Takes the, the sides, realizes that, you know, losing center control doesn't really matter that much because it's a lot of its road. You can just build a dragon and threaten anything in the center. Gets a huge economy lead and just, you know, uses it well, and finds good targets for the dragon to pick off. So yeah, well played to Psycho.